Okay, so the speakers are surprisingly not as loud. It doesn't. It seems like it was louder in Cyberpunk for some reason. Um, Acer True Harmony. I'm using the the Nitro Sense up here to try to change the audio profile, but I'm not. I'm not hearing much of a difference when I change stuff. So, um, I don't know. The default music profile. It's. It's. Yeah, that was not very impressive in my opinion. Um, and I was not able to improve it with the different audio profiles by much. Okay, so Faded Aeon, Half-Life. Let's see if this sounds any better. Doggies didn't like the song. Hero, Zeus, no. <laughs> Quiet. Um, so the thing is, the thing is I'll say is that the audio that I'm hearing is pretty good. It's just very low overall volume. Um, let's move on to our third song, La 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 by Deuce Williams. That is so interesting that the audio uh, in music really, I, I feel like there's a software issue where the volume's not being boosted or something because in cyberpunk, it sounded so dang loud. Okay, that was not amazing. Uh, we're gonna do Half-Life by Faded Aeon. Oh. All right, that one actually didn't sound as bad as the first one. The first one was just like very bassy and it was all broken up. The second song uh, mainly focuses on like highs and mids. And since it's only two, two watt tweeters, basically, it sounds a lot better in music like that. Let's try uh, La La La, which has a lot of vocals. So here we go. Okay, so that was um, decent again in the mids and highs. The focus on that song is mainly on the mids and highs, and that's a bit, bit better. Overall, I would give it probably um, 4 out of 10 on the speaker side, maybe 3.5, 3.5 to 4 in that range. Not looking at amazing speakers. Um, that's what I would expect at this price point, though, right? You're paying, you pay for what you get when it comes to speaker quality. Typically, it's one of those premium things you have to pay a bit extra for if you want to have high quality speakers. Okay, so beautiful. Okay, so we have Peter Spacey Roar to start out with. And I'm going to hold the mic about 10 inches in front of the laptop. Hmm. 
All right, Faded Aeon, Half-Life. Very nice. Uh, Deuce Williams, La La La. Okay, so um, let me see if there's also any audio programs to do any changes to the audio. I don't think MSI has much in the way of applications. Let's go to all apps and just see. But uh, overall, there was a little bit of bass. There could definitely be more bass. The mids and highs were there. The overall volume was not that loud. Uh, so there is Nahimic. Uh, okay, so we can adjust some settings in Nahimic here. All right, so we could turn audio effects were on during that test. We were on music with bass, bass boost, voice boost, and treble boost enabled. So I can try playing Peter Spacey and, and activate deactivate that. Okay, yeah, so um, you definitely want to have Nahimic on and enabled because it sounded way better. Um, that said, the speakers overall are probably like a six and a half out of 10, six out of 10. Not really that great, kind of your average gaming laptop speakers. Uh, they could definitely be louder. They could definitely be more punchy. They could definitely have better mids and highs. Um, all right, so there's our webcam. Let me restart it. This is Half-Life. This is Half-Life by Faded Aeon. All right, and this is La 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 by Deuce Williams. Okay, so this has two two watt speakers. The mids are there. The bass is very minimal. The highs are there, but they're kind of broken up. They're not very high quality. Um, the speakers on this are budget, as, the, as is the price tag, as pretty much as expected. Um, it'll work in a pinch if you need to watch a YouTube video. It'll work fine. The volume is not super loud, but it's, it's there. Uh, if you're in a quiet room, you'll clearly hear your audio, which is really kind of what you're shooting for in the budget range, right? It's pretty rare you're going to get really good speakers at this price point.
Okay, so all right, so I would say I would say the music balance mode is probably the loudest sounding. I think um, that's interesting. I, w I was expecting it to be uh, dynamic, but dynamic was sounded quieter to me. So we're gonna try the balanced music balanced mode. All right, for our audio test. Okay, next up is Faded Aeon by Half-Life. Okay, and next up is La La La. Do you swear? Okay, so very impressive. Um, in the last song only. Uh, the like the mid like basically the mids with the vocals la la la, that sounded pretty decent. The first two were bleh. like like the bass was not very good. The clarity it was we were breaking up the mid like the highs were breaking up and the lows really weren't very strong. Um, yeah, I said very impressive, but what I yeah just the very end there was good. Like I would say the vocals and la 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 were pretty decent. The volume overall is pretty loud. But in terms of rating this audio system, I'd probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Um, significantly, like it's basically just like an average laptop speaker, which is kind of sad because this is the biggest laptop chassis that we have this year in 2023. And I would really hope that they'd be able to, be able to put, I would hope they'd be able to put higher quality speakers in such a big laptop. Okay. So that song really tests the bass of the device, and the bass is not amazing. So that tests a lot of the mids and highs, um, and it was it was okayish. Deuce Williams, Deuce Williams, la la la, love you like, and uh, here we go. Let's see. This is this has a lot of vocals in it. Okay, so um, yeah, I would say it's getting fairly loud, but the mids, the highs, and the bass could all be noticeably improved. And I would say it's noticeably behind in all three of those categories versus the competition. Let me see if there's any audio software to boost 
uh, the quality of this experience. Realtek audio console. So let me zoom in here. I'm not really seeing much here in terms of potential ways to improve it. Um, oh, there is an equalizer here. Let's try changing some, some of the equalizer settings here. Uh, we'll just try switching between a couple different options. Yeah, so the uh, live seemed to be the best uh, accompaniment to this speaker system. Um, that definitely helped improve the audio experience, I would say a bit at least, because um, it boosts the mids basically. It's this this EQ boosts the mids primarily. Um, that's it. It's going to vary a lot from what kind of music you're listening to in terms of what would be the best sounding. Uh, no one buys a laptop for speakers. I do. I mean, when I'm traveling in a hotel or something, I whip in my laptop and listen to music sometimes, or I play my video games on the just the speakers. That said, I totally understand. <laughs> if you uh, just want to use headphones, that's fine too. Um, okay, so those are the, your options to improve the audio. I would say the speaker overall, it's in the 7.5 range, 7 to 7.5. It's very similar to the Alienware M18 yesterday. It, it needs, it could be improved in the base. It could be, have better mids, and it could have better highs. So um, that's kind of where I'm thinking right now for these speakers. They're not amazing. They're not terrible. Seems very similar to the Scar 18, maybe a hair less volume, um, but I believe we have this application we can go into, Dolby Access. You wanna make sure you go in here, at least you can play with the audio settings. So we've got, right now we're on music balanced. Let me try changing it to, to dynamic. Well, let's keep it in music balanced and let me play that song again. All right, and I'm gonna switch it to detailed. I'm gonna change it to dynamic. You hear how quieter the music is? Turn to the dynamic, it's a huge difference. All right, so. We're gonna retest that song from the beginning in dynamic because it was I massively that is massively louder in dynamic. All right. All right, 
Next up is Half-Life Faded Aeon, which has a lot of like mids and highs. That sounded really good. All right, La 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 by Deuce Williams. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think the speakers are basically exactly like the Scar 18. Like, I think they're probably the exact same speakers. Um, moderately high volume, decent-ish bass. You know, there's some bass in there. There's moderately clear mids and highs. Uh, overall, what did I give the Scar 18? I think it was like an 8.7 or something like that, somewhere like in that range uh, out of total speaker quality. The the uh, the Blade 18 is definitely louder and more clear sounding. Um, the MacBook Pro is still king of laptop speakers, but this is still... Uh, gonna fill a room pretty dang well with some decent audio, uh, at least a small to medium size. song on the Strix, then one song on the Scar, one song on the Strix, one song on the Scar. We'll bounce back and forth for three songs. Okay, so that was uh, first 40 seconds. Let's go and do the scar now. A lot more bass. So to me, just listening in person, I can hear, especially in that song, a lot more bass, like thun like more of a like a full bass feeling, where the Strix has some bass, but the bass is like more minimal, and you're really getting more mids and highs with the Strix. Um, let me see what Bill's Bill sounds like. All right, let's try Bill's Bills. All right, here we go. The first thirty seconds. This is on the Strix now. Here is Bill's Bills on the Scar. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just play Okay. 
Okay, so that's uh, la la la. And now for the Strix G18. So the way I would equate it is kind of like the scar feels more like a real sound system with a dedicated subwoofer a little more, uh, whereas the Strix G18 almost is more like a decent smartphone speaker. Does it kind of does it make sense? It's a little more tinny, a little more mids and a little more highs, not much bass to it. So yeah, so those are the main differences. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, like RGB lighting. The keyboard backlight appears to be the same. The light up logo on the back, different chassis design, um, and much better speakers on the SCAR. Wow, that's better than I thought it was going to be. All right, here's a Half Life by Faded Aeon. I'm gonna try changing the profile here to music. Yeah, it was hard for me to tell. There's a very little difference with changing the profile, but I think dynamic sounded the loudest. Wow. Okay, these speakers are really good. I would say they're just a hair behind what the SCAR 18 had. SCAR 18 had a little better clarity, a little better bass. Um, a little bit behind still, you know, obviously the, the Blade 18, Blade 16 are better than this. But I would say this is better than the Strix G18 and better than the Alienware M16. Uh, way better, obviously, than any of these other budget laptops like on the Katana or the Gigabyte G5. Like, these speakers are in a mid to high tier. Like, I'd probably give them an 8.2, probably 8.3, somewhere in that range. Like, a Scar 18 was like 8.7. The Blade 18 was a 9.5. So, these are up there, and you can certainly use these to listen to your music, and it's going to sound really good. It's going to fill a room uh, with some high quality audio. Okay, so let's. Okay, uh, let's move to Half-Life Faded Aeon. I'm gonna restart because I had the volume only at like 80% uh, in the window here. So now that I've increased that, let me restart Roar again. Roar by Peter Spacey.
Half-Life Faded Aeon. Okay, so there was definitely some audio breakups going on there um, with the piano music kind of breaking breaking up uh, in like the highs, I think. Let's go to La 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 Love You Deuce by Deuce Williams. Okay, so um, overall, I'd say the speakers are very similar to like the Strix G18 um, in terms of like raw category of speaker, which means that it's about like an 8, 8.0 or maybe a little higher, 8.1 or something in that ballpark. Um, I think this has two, let me double check. Um, for speakers, do they have the speakers here? Yeah, so the speakers by, are by Bang and Olufsen, and there's HP Audio Boost. They don't say how many there are, but we saw them downward firing. I don't see any place where they would be upward firing, so I think there's just two downward firing speakers on the left and right. And um, overall, yeah, I mean, the, the sound will fill a room, a small room, uh, no problem, but I'm guessing you're going to want to turn the volume down in certain types of audio because you're going to end up with audio breaking apart um, in the mids and highs. And that's the biggest issue I found with uh, Half-Life Faded Aeon. Let's see if we can optimize the sound. Just Yeah, they have Nahemic, which affects your sound, what you get for the sound you get quite a bit. So right now it's a flat custom EQ with music as the profile preset. We'll turn it off. I'll try turning it off and on for you. Can you hear the difference? On, off, on. The sound quality, the, the quality of the speakers goes up and changes dramatically when you change the, the different profiles here. So this is something I would definitely recommend playing with if you end up getting this laptop to optimize the speaker system. Um, Ben Plan says, $5 super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, appreciate the support. Quick question for you after your summary. What are your thoughts on the Corsair DDR5 Dominator 6000 megahertz RAM? Anything better in your opinion? I'm not sure which uh, memory is the very best. I've seen uh, 6400 as an option for XMG laptops, but you also got to confirm that the laptop's going to support whatever RAM you end up buying. Okay, so that's the important thing to keep in mind. All right, so let's just another song. Thank you so much for the donation. All right, so Half-Life. Okay, so my summary of the speakers are they have very noticeable strong bass. They have pretty clear mids and highs, but I think the mids and highs could be a little bit clearer. The overall volume is very loud. 
Um, I think the speakers are probably like an 8.75 or maybe a 9 out of 10. Not quite as good as the Blade uh, 16 speakers. I'm sure probably not quite as good as the Blade 18 speakers, but they're up there and they do make for very good sound. As long as you don't have uh, fans on max fans, you can get a good gaming experience with just, you know, just raw uh, audio coming from the laptop because you have upward firing speakers on the left and right of the keyboard as well as downward firing on the left and right. So the overall volume is quite loud. It's, it's really good. Uh, right now we are in equalizer mode. Let's do dynamic, I guess, and we'll do effects are on. Um, we can try turning it off and on here and see if it sounds better or not with it. But uh, let's go ahead and listen to roar. <laughs> Okay, so that was me switching between different uh, sound profiles, turning the Nehemic on and off. I think it sounds better with Nehemic, and it's in the custom flat sound profile now um, with the bass boost activated. Uh, let's listen to the next two songs. This is Half-Life by Faded Aeon. That sounds pretty good. Um, let's move on to La 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 by Deuce Williams. Okay, so um, in general, I would say the speakers are high quality, but they're not much better than the GT77. They're in the same ballpark. Um, I would say they're not neck and neck, but pretty close to neck and neck with the GT77. Uh, that means they're slightly worse than what's on the Razer Blade 16 and 18, uh, slightly better than the Strix G18, and probably right around equal to the Scar 18 in terms of speaker quality. All right, so the first up we have Peter Spacey with Roar, and we do have Nahemic enabled right now with um, effects on for music with bass, voices, and treble boost enabled. <laughs> Well, that was surprisingly good. Okay, Faded Aeon, Half-Life. Very noticeable, strong, and clear bass. I feel like really 
so far, if there's any weakness to the speakers, it's really more just total volume and like the mids and highs are not quite as good, but the bass is surprisingly awesome. So next up, Hi next up is La 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 Love You by Deuce Williams. Here we go. Okay, so, uh, man, those speakers actually surprised me, and they're much better than I anticipated, if I'm being honest. I think uh, they're probably, like, they're, they're probably, like, an 8.6. I don't know. It's surprising. <laughs> this little guy. This thing's tiny, and it's still got pretty good speakers. So, um, man. That, th like, these speakers were basically as good as, like, what we saw on the GT77 or GE78, pretty close to the SCAR18. Maybe just a hair behind all of those uh, because the total volume is not quite as good um, as those laptops. I, I Those laptops have a little bit more powerful speakers, but the quality of the speakers on this was surprisingly awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to go with an 8.5 rating for the speakers on the Stealth 14, which is much better than I thought it was gonna be. Now, Okay, so audio is fantastic. It is probably a 9.5 out of 10. It's uh, not perfect. Maybe it's a nine out of 10. I think the highs and mids could be better. We're definitely getting some bass. We've got excellent overall volume. Um, I, I really, I, I'm impressed overall with the speakers. I think most people will be able to really enjoy um, their gaming experience and listening to music and watching movies a bit better than the other laptops on the market, which again, you're paying the premium Razer tax. That's one of the benefits you get is better speakers than uh, some of the competition laptops, right? So um, it's definitely a noticeable step up in terms of speaker quality. And I've heard the Blade 18 is also a nice jump up. I can't wait to test that one as well. Compared to an Apple laptop, Apple laptops are the 10 out of 10. I have, I've owned Apple laptops. They have the best clarity, the best mids, the best highs, the best bass. This is still not quite as good as an Apple laptop.
Okay, so if you couldn't tell from that speaker test, the speakers on this are phenomenal. It's the best gaming laptop speakers I think I've ever heard. They're very loud, they have punchy bass, they have clear mids and highs. It's not perfectly clear, it's not quite as good as a MacBook Pro speakers, but it's so close. It is the closest I've seen or heard on a gaming laptop so far. Um, and if you want really good speakers, this is phenomenal. And I also wanna point out the spatial audio is also next level. Um, this, like when you're playing a first person shooter like Apex Legends, you can clearly hear left and right audio separation. Um, they've got some kind of spatial audio um, software that does a good job. So basically the way it works is the speakers, when, when, a, when you've got someone in front of you in Apex Legends, the speaker's sound will come through both of these up-firing speakers, but then let's say a grenade goes off to your left, then you'll only get that grenade sound coming out your like bottom left speaker. So it literally hears like the grenade is to the left of your body when the grenade goes off. Um, so audio separation is fantastic and the spatial audio is very real. And I think it's even better than the Blade 16, though the Blade 16 also had audio separation and spatial sound. The one thing is I've ran into with the speakers is that because of this spatial setup they've got going on, it's kind of a surround sound type of a feel. When I was watching uh, shows last night, I was watching uh, Gravity Falls on, in bed with this, it would be awkward because when there was supposed to be left left side sound or something, the sound would suddenly come from the left side under speaker, which maybe was blocked by a like a, my chest or something because the laptop was on my chest. Uh, the sound would be muffled all of a sudden. So. I want to be able to turn spatial audio off and on as I need it, um, just because it sounded really awkward when I was watching a TV show in bed, because that that basically the under-firing speakers became muffled. So um, yeah, so that's my feedback on the speakers. Really phenomenal. The best ones you can buy so far that I've heard this year. This is Half-Life by Faded Aeon. And this is La La La. Okay, so um, the speakers are surprisingly loud. Um, one of the loudest speakers I've heard this year the clarity on the mids and highs, I think, could definitely be better, and the bass could come through better. It's a loud volume. It's kind of it's it's a it's a weird in between where you get really good volume, but I feel like the clarity and the bass and the mids and highs could all be better. So it's like I'm thinking, I'm thinking I would give it like an eight point three on the speaker scale, because the it's loud, but the mids, mids, lows, and highs could be better, you know? So it, it'll fill a room better than most, and you'll easily overwhelm any fan noise the laptop's making um, with your game audio or whatever movie you're watching or whatever. So um, I love that it's loud. It's just not a very premium-sounding speaker, but the loudness is phenomenal. So 